Hey guys, hope everyone's doing well. And yes, I know it might be surprising, but you do in fact see pennies in front of you today. It had actually been, I don't know, probably about a month since me or my brother had uh, coin roll hunted through a box of pennies. I think it is maybe even a little bit longer than a month. I guess the short answer uh, would be too long since we have gone through a box of pennies. Uh, but today that changed, and as you'll see, this one turned out to be pretty successful. And uh, I had a lot of fun going through it, and I hope you guys enjoy uh, the finds that I'm about to show. So in these first three buckets here, you'll see Canadian pennies. This first one here is from 1996 to 1982. Second one here is the 1981 and 1980 Canadian pennies. And this third one is from 1979 to, oh, what is it? I believe 1953. I can't remember off the top of my head. But up until the King George pennies. And then this one here are the Copper American pennies. And I actually did quite well on those today. I can't give you the total numbers. My brother was doing a really good job of tracking those before for you guys, but I will go ahead and weigh them here for you. Make sure I turn it on. And I weighed the containers uh, prior to filling them up, and it turned out to be about four ounces in total. So I'll go ahead and subtract that uh, from our total here. That way we can find out just how much in copper we had. Sorry, just bear with me here for a second. Okay, sorry for the glare, I don't know if you can see, but from here, it says we have 6 pounds and 2.2 ounces of copper. So an excellent start to the penny hoarding, I would say. And look out for more uh, pennies, we have a, another box coming tomorrow. So excellent with that, let me just show you these more rare finds here. I actually did really good for those as well. To start off, I'll show you we had 11 of the 1982 American pennies, so I'll make sure I go ahead and, and weigh those before I re-roll them. I was happy to see a Canadian dime here. I found a 5 cent euro and then two 2009 American pennies. Always happy when I'm able to pick those up. Now we also did well for wheat pennies and King George pennies. I'm going to start with the wheat pennies here. As you can see, not so great condition. It is a 1940 American wheat penny. Next, from 1944. One from 1946, another from 1946, and the last one here is from 1957. Turn just a little bit. Sorry about that. Now let me just end with the King George pennies here. Final, found six of those. The first, in fairly good condition, is from 1940. Next, from 1947. Another from 1947, a 1950, a second 1950, and then lastly a 1952. So all in all, an excellent first box back into the penny coin roll hunting. It was nice to get over six pounds of copper there. As I said, be on the lookout for a lot more uh, penny coin roll hunting. I have a box coming tomorrow and there will be at least one box every week, so I'm going to make sure I get those videos up for you guys. So as always, thanks for watching, thanks for your, for your support, we really appreciate it guys. Any questions or comments, feel free to leave those below and I'll get back to you. Alright guys, I'll talk to you soon.